Hello Fox, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to more TGC 2019 and of course we're going to be playing for you today is called Avery Fields Golf Club and this is by RJ Wills 30 Now I had a look at some of the screenshots, I've jumped in as I always do just to sort of load the course up and this looks absolutely beautiful So we're going to get started, the fairways are firm, the greens are firm, the green speed is medium fast, everything else is set to default We are going to go off the white tees at 7,363 yards, so we'll keep on pin set number one and let's go I mean, look at that for the first hole. Absolutely stunning. Just love the colours. Uh, before we do get started, again, I just want to say to everybody, hope everybody's well. Hope the families and everybody's safe and healthy with this um, crazy time that we're going through at the moment. Yeah, it's absolutely mental. So back to this. This looks beautiful. Really, really does. Now, it's got a little right up here. I'll actually read that out as I'm sort of just flying around with the, the sky cam. What I'm going to do actually is we're going to go up and have a look at the plot because it does look really really nice. There you go, what a lovely looking plot that is. Okay, it says I've been picking away at this one for several months. I've always wanted to do a course inspired by some of the classic American parkland courses from the early 20th century. Uh, you've got this big creek and all that river going all the way down. So where were we? Back down to the first tee, there's a clubhouse here, where we have a little look around the clubhouse. Yeah, from the early, early 20th century, like Merion, Oakmont and Somerset Hills, the course is situated on a rolling site in a residential neighbourhood and is routed around a creek that snakes through the property. I wanted the course to look like it was built with more rudimentary tools with simple bunkers and fairway sculpting, as well as natural humps and bumps and irregulations, irregularities off the fairway to make for some interesting lies. So quite a modest little clubhouse there. You've got a couple of little benches just outside, a couple of little tables and chairs, your car park over there, and you've got the road sort of leading sort of out and in towards the course. I don't know where they are over there. They look like a sort of big office building or something. But yeah, this looks very nice. The colors just really, really pop. You've got this old brown sort of grass rough texture and he's done some really nice planting on that and then you've got the lush colors the the fairways just really really pop okay i've tried to keep the course tightly routed together to promote course uh, cross course views through to the surrounding neighborhood let me just scroll down a little bit on that uh, the fairways are fairly narrow by my standards and should require your attention the greens rely on subtle angles into pins and some pitched and rolling surfaces to defend and retain shots coming in. It was a fun process to step outside my usual tendencies of more dramatic sculpting and scale for some more subtle and restrained, something more subtle and restrained. Hopefully you enjoy your round. Now I do like this. As he said, he's got it built up in sort of a residential area. And you've got the residential area there. It's the big road going all the way down left hand side of the first and second now I just noticed there, I don't know if these are publishing errors but as you see, it's sort of hovering a little bit the houses there this does tend to happen with uh, when you publish a course it does um, you get these little publishing errors but it won't take away from the, the actual gameplay itself again, this rough texture, really really nice We've got the old dried out sort of grasses and that on it it's just the colours, the colours really really pop and it just, after that first tee, it just really screams like parkland course, doesn't it? It looks absolutely beautiful. And there's that creek and it sort of just meanders its way all the way around the course. You've got a couple of little bridges just taking you over to the other side of the other fairways and stuff. So let's head up to this way and we'll, it looks like we're going to turn around and come back down. I mean, there's some absolutely beautiful views off the tees here. Absolutely lovely. Some cracking sight lines, view all the way down towards the green. So let's head back over this way. Again, there's your creek. And that's us going back probably up towards the third there. Yeah, he's done a nice job on the creek as well. Just the way it sort of goes all the way around. He's got a nice sort of feature that follows all the way around as well with the rocks and stuff. But it's all the little subtleties that you can see, all the little humps and bumps, especially on the, the rough textures. All these sort of big humps and bumps, you've got this, like a dried out rough texture with all these sort of dried out grasses and that on them as well. So it's very nicely done. 
Looks great. So let's head up this direction. And it looks like we're coming off that tea box there and come back down. As you can see, you've got sort of little sort of pathways. It's pretty subtle as well to see. Just sort of leading you down either side there and down towards the fairway. Very nice. Let's head over this direction. Yeah, looks good. Can't wait to get started on this. And he's got a lot of good feedback on the forum as well. I do like a, a course that sort of looks and plays very natural. Again, you've got all this lovely planting all the way sort of around the, the trees and that there. It's got a very natural kind of look to it with that sort of little creek. Very nice. Okay, we're going to head back up towards the first tee and we'll get started. We'll head over this direction and sort of zoom round and back in. Because that view off this first tee is beautiful. And I might actually just come up a little bit and take a screenshot there. That might be my thumbnail. Okay, let me just pause that a second. Apologies. Okay, let's put the HUD back on and get started. Oh, I didn't put it back on. There we go. Okay, so what do we have here? Hole 1, 500 yards, par 4, stroke index next 6. Got 7 mile an hour wind coming in from the left hand side. Looks like we're going slightly downhill here, so I'll aim towards the sort of middle of the fairway. And we got perfect, perfect. Nice. Didn't hit a fast this time. I'm usually smacking fasts off the tee. And I hope that's going to stay out there. I'm not. That's okay, that's fine. Right in the middle of the fairway. I thought it might have rolled over to the right side, right hand side there a little bit. Oh, we have Co-Ruler. I noticed that, as I said, I always jump in and start the course off. And it kept popping up, so I'm gonna gonna remove him. Um how do we do this? Can't bloody remember now. Um must be this one. Nope. Sentence. Social? Nope. I think he's a ghost, you know. Show ghost goes. Um, can't remember how I bloody did this last time. But let me have a look. Right. Go for group. It's got to be group, isn't it? It's got to be in group. Ah, there we are. That side. There we go. Remove player. Do apologize if you're playing. I'm not sure if that was his ghost or not. He's removed now anyway. Well, it said he's removed. He'll probably go after to get past this first hole. Okay, 169, 20 down. So that is playing around about 162. We're going to go down to the 160 here. We're a bit of a left to right slope. We'll put a little bit of loft on that as well. Maybe a little touch more. Oh, that's pushing that way over to the right. Is it going to hold the green? No, it's just going to trickle off the back. That's going to leave us a little chip. Okay. Oh, so we're going to pick up a par for the first hole. Yeah, the lighting as well. I love this sort of weather effect. He's got that overcast look to it. Okay, hole two, 407 yards, par four, stroke index two. And again, right off the tee, it just screams parkland. It just screams uh, like a municipal course that you'd play. It really does. Okay, five wood, two wood, a driver. Going up to this thin section up here. Mind you, that's a little tiny bit uphill, so let's aim it a little tiny bit more to the right. Just in case we hit it fast. But we didn't, so that's good. Oh, slow up. Oh, that is so close. Now, is that the fairway or the first cut? 
that's fair way. Just held on there. Okay, 119.20 up, so it's playing around about 126. So let's down loft this a little touch. Aim a little bit to the left. We've got a bit of a right to left slope, but that wind should be higher. Come on, wind, bring it in. Okay, that'll do. Is it going to stick? Yep, that's going to stick. Oh, this is a nasty looking little putt. What are the green speeds? 163, so it's pretty good speed. Oh, just missed on the right hand edge. Okay, it's another part. Yeah, things are bloody crazy over here. I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of you are from the UK that watch this as well, but a lot of you are Americans. But it was on the news tonight that um, Boris Johnson actually took further steps to make people like self-isolate and social distance and things like that, because it was crazy. It really was. The weekend, we had a really nice day, Saturday and Sunday, and it showed you pictures on the news and stuff. There's some newsreel in the, in the parks in London and stuff. The amount of people that were just out meandering about in big groups and just hanging around the little coffee stands and the fountains and things like that. There was tons and tons of them out jogging and on their bikes. And I, don't, I just don't get it. Mental. And then you get, you get like our national parks over here. There's like the Lake District and things like that. They've got some nice um, trails to walk and things like that. And what, what happens is all these Muppets from the cities all these millennials decided, oh, it's too much hassle in the cities with the, the outbreak and all that. So what we'll do, we'll get away for the weekend and go down to the Lake District and that. And But hundreds and thousands of people decided to do the same thing. It showed you on the news, there was actually traffic jams trying to get to these national parks. There was actually more people in the national parks this weekend than what there is in the bloody summer. Mental. Okay, 218, 26 down. So that is playing around about, oh, about 209. 211, that might not make it, you know, without wind. And that's going to be too much. So if I go with that, it's a par five, actually. Tell you what, I'm not going to chance it. I'm going to go with the seven iron here. Yeah, as I said, these trails, uh, you walk up to the peaks of the trails and all that, up to the, the top of the hillside. There was actually queues for people to go up there. It was mental. Now, my missy, she works in the, the care system. Uh, she looks after vulnerable adults. And some of them, like, they need 24-hour care and things like that. And she went to work on Thursday. This is what? This is Tuesday now. And she came home this afternoon at 4 o'clock. That's the first time I've seen her since Thursday. That was it. No, yeah, four o'clock she come, no, two o'clock she come home, three o'clock she come home actually. Then she was back out at eight, and she's back in tomorrow morning at ten o'clock, then back out at four, and then back in the next morning at ten o'clock, and then back out at four. It's mental, it really is. Okay, 48 yards, two feet down. Let's go, oh, what do I want? Pitch, I want the pitch. So I'm going to have to put quite a bit of loft on this. It's not that she has to work because, as I said, it's like vulnerable, vulnerable adults she works with, and a lot of them do need 24 hour care. Okay, 10 feet 3 inches down. That was like five days I hadn't seen her for. She was at work for five days in her own. And what she did, like, the work during the day, but she, then she'll, like, sleep over at one of the houses to take care of them overnight and things like that. Mental, really is. Anyway, enough of this crap. I suppose you hear it day in, day out, 24 7 on the news. But I just wanted to say, I think it's absolutely mental. <laughs> okay, 04, 221 yards, par 3, stroke index 8, 229, and 7 feet down, so it's playing 227. I am going to go with the 211 here, and kind of hoping it's going to feed towards the yeah, should that should feed it towards the pin. Don't want to hit that bump and make it kick off to the left though. Oh, come on. 
get onto that top section, select the green, feed it around towards the hoe. Well, that's not too bad. Okay, 13 feet, six inches are down. Right. This is just gonna be a little tap. Even though it's 163. Oh, come on, turn, turn, turn. <gasps> uh oh, do not hit that slope. That should be okay. That's gonna be another par. I was expecting a birdie there. That's quite an easy putt. <clears throat> K hole 5, 485 yards, par 4, stroke index 4. Yeah, it's, it looks nice the way he's got the, the sort of the houses, the residential area around the side of the, the course there. And again, you've got this beautiful rough texture with the dried out grasses on it as well. We should be able to play up there. 485. That should be fine. It's slightly uphill, so it's not going to go as far as you think it is. But will it kick off to the right? No, that should be good. I'm hoping that's going to be good. It looks like I pushed it a little bit right. Oh, that's fine. Lovely. Just cut that little bit of a corner off there. And we're on a quite a big left to right slope here. 187 playing 186. So I'm going to put a little bit of loft on it. She has to try and slow it down a touch. That's looking nice. Well, you're getting, still, still getting some run on these um, greens, even though they're 163. It must be the firmness. <clears throat> yeah, that's coming lovely back towards the hole there. Look at that. Okay, let's see if we can get this one. Oh, go on. Yes, nice. K hole 6, 433 yards, par 4, stroke in next 10. Now, it looks like this one's turning right around to the left here. Big dog leg left. And downhill. That's a beautiful looking hole as well. Look at that. Look at the views you've got. As I said earlier, I think the colours are absolutely stunning in this. Now, can we cut this corner here? I think we can, and we're going downhill, so we should reach that section. I think it stands out even better with the, um, the lighting he's got, because he's got it on like an overcast day. And the colours of the fairways and that just really pop. And you've got that brown, rough texture. I like that, as I said, I like the way he's done there. He's planted all the grasses around the, the brownie rough texture. It really stands out as well. Okay, 74. We've got 73 with a pitching wedge. A little bit of downhill, so I'm going to put a bit of loft on it. Oh, shit. Damn, didn't want to do that. And that was me. I, could, I felt that in my swing. Okay, 23 feet, one foot up. Looks like it's turning right to left. Shouldn't turn too much though. Oh yes, nice little putt. My putting swing is absolutely terrible though, it really is. It's fine if I rotate my controller, but with putts like that, I have to just hit it normal or I can't gauge my distance as well. Again, beautiful view off this tee, downhill. You can see practically the whole course in front of you there. And there's that little creek. So this is hole seven, 566 yards, par five, stroke index 16. Okay, it looks like there's plenty of room down there.
That's going to be good, I think. Absolutely spot on. Right in the middle of the fairway. 296 yards. That wind just held that up a little bit, even though it was only 7 mile an hour. Okay, 263, so it's playing 274 to the pin. Now, we can get on this green, I think. But we're going to have to aim this way over to the right, I think. And if we do come up a bit short, it's probably just going to leave us a little flop or a chip. Oh, I thought I was going to hit a fast start. Fell f oh, I didn't look at my lie. Must have been on quite a big slope. But that's not too bad. That should leave us a little flop shot up to the, the green. Okay, 22, 5 up. Let's go with a flop. Oh, crap. Oh, look at the spin back on that as well. And I think there's a little slope there as a... Oh, don't come off. Oh, that's going to last nasty. <laughs> that was bad. Okay, 27 feet, one foot up. I'll do it. We'll take up the par. I think that's going to be for a par on a par five. Yep. Should really be hitting birdies on par fives now, especially with the kind of calmish um, conditions that we've got here. But that flop shot, that was terrible. That's why I don't like playing flop shots. I hate them. I'd rather pull myself back a little bit. But I thought I'd actually reach that green there, but I should have pulled back and went for a full pitch. Okay, hole eight, 344 yards. Par four, stroke index 12. Okay, got a lot of bunkers down here. Driver's not going to make it over there. I am actually going to pull this right back to the five wood. That should get us into that little sort of thinnish section, I think, of the fairway there. Yeah, that's just, that's perfect. That's going to leave a nice full pitch shot into the green. Okay, 77, three down, so it's playing 76. Uh, we should be good with... Uh, we're on a... Oh, look at that, that's nasty. So going to aim it a little bit over to the right. We're actually going to put some loft on it because we're hitting downhill here. Oh, it's another bloody slow. Not doing very well with my pitch shots and my flop shots here. But that's coming back lovely towards the pin. We should pick up the birdie here. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. Should have picked up the birdie there. I thought I had that. That broke a little bit more than I thought it would. Okay, on to hole nine. Last hole of the front nine. Hole nine, 174 yards, par three, stroke index 14. And again, the, the brown textures with the grasses, very nice. The colors of the fairway over there and the green just really stand out against it. Pins at the back of the green here. 173, so it's playing 169. Now we should be good with that wind just to go in there with a seven iron, I reckon. That wind's turning it lovely. Might just be a little bit right of the pin. Get up. Go on. Oh, a little bit of down loft. Would have been absolutely spot on. But hopefully we'll pick up the part that the birdie here. And we do. Nice one. So that was a good front nine. Really enjoyed that. Oh, that's minus four on the front nine. Okay, hole 10, 450 yards. Par four, stroke index nine. Okay, this one looks pretty straightforward. You've got a couple of bunkers going up this right-hand edge, and you've got a couple of bunkers on the left-hand side of the green here. And the wind is going with us, so that's not bad as well. It's going to help us out. Got a nice kick off that. Just pulling it over to the left. I'll kind of leave us on a flattish lie, well, flatter lie down here than it was up there to the right. We're still going to be on a right to left slope though. Okay, 142, so it's playing 148. 
and 136. I think we'll just stick with the 136. We'll go bit going with the pitching wedge so that wind should help us out quite a bit. And that'll do lovely. Nice distance that. And we pick up a birdie. Okay, hold them. 468 yards. Par 4 stroke index 7. That is a stunning looking hole. With the houses and all that on the left hand side. And you've got all these brown textures and the grasses and the bunkers going all the way down. Do you know, I think that might actually make a better screenshot than the first. I really, really like this hole. <laughs> so, excuse me guys, let me just... Let me just do this. Ah, uh, yeah, I do like that. There we go. I think that'll be my screenshot. I do apologize, but sometimes when you're going around the course, you just see one and you think, oh, that is nice. That's a lovely view. Okay, driver right down here. Again, the I think this um, overcast weather that he's put on absolutely just fits the course lovely. K314, 315 yards, so that is not a bad drive, but it's quite a lengthy par four, 468 yards. So 154, so it's about 158 we're going in here. 160, we'll put a bit of loft on. I don't want to move it too much to the, the left there, to the right, because of that slope, but this wind should push it back in towards the pin. Oh shit. I think I pushed that, or pulled that over to the left, actually, I did. Yeah, look at that swing. That's actually outside the cone now. That's why it moved so much, so far to the left. Okay, little chip. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> That's what you want to see. And we get a birdie. Okay, hole 12, 342 yards. Par 4, stroke index 15. Okay, the fairway just sort of turns around these bunkers on the right and these bunkers on the left here. Five wood, driver. Yeah, I think it should be good for the driver, I reckon. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to knock it down to the two wood. Just put us into that little section there. I'm quite happy with my tempo today, actually. I've not hit many faster slows off the tee. My swing plane, though, is getting worse. It's getting a lot worse. It used to be a lot straighter than that. Okay, 76. Uh, it's playing right about 78. And we're just going to go right in here with the 73 the pitching wedge. Oh, we get the perfect, perfect. Nice. Oh, and that's going to set us up lovely for another nice little birdie putt. Looks like we're on a roll here in the back nine. I say that and then I usually fuck it up. <laughs> but we got that one. Oh, a little par three. I love the little par threes. Hole 13, 139 yards. Par three, stroke index 11. Yeah, some of my favorite holes, just the little par threes. That's say 130, 140, 150 yards. I love them. 133, so it's playing around about 136. 136 with pitch and wedge. Let's put a bit of loft on it. Counteract that bit of wind that we've got. Oh, push that. Or should I say, pulled it again to the left. Quite a bit. God, oh, come on, I need to try and... It's not my tempo today, it's my bloody swing. It's always something. Okay, I need to try and straighten it up a little bit. Okay, 15 feet, 2 inches are down. This shouldn't turn too much. That didn't turn at all. That looked like one of them levitating balls I had there. It bloody travelled flat and straight for the first, I don't know, 10 feet or so. I don't know if he's had that, but I really hope they sort it out for the next game. It's so bloody annoying. 
K hole 14, 601 yards, par 5, stroke index 17. I can see that if you're, you're smashing the ball like 60, 60 yards or 60 feet or whatever, or 70 feet on a putt. But a little putt like that, I didn't put much pace in it. So why should the ball be lifting off the green surface that much? Okay, you've got quite a bit of a dog leg here around to the right. But that's absolutely fine. I'm going to go there with the driver. Again, I'm pushing, uh, pulling over to the left-hand side here. I might just try and rotate my controller just a little touch on my drives. Okay, 296, 36 down. So that is playing around about 284. Uh, we should be good with the two wood just to smack it down now. Now there you go, I rotated my controller a little bit and look at that, look at the difference. Straight down the pipe. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, bugger. And it's in the thick shit. Dead, damn it. Okay, 40 yards. We've got 42 with the flop. And I think I'm going to go with a pitch. 57 and we'll put virtually tons of loft on this. Uh, perfect distance so we should still hopefully walk away with a birdie but it looks like it's going to turn quite a bit left to right here oh that's not Ooh. and we pick the birdie up nice one okay hole 15 194 yards par three stroke index three I do like these par threes. He's not went well, still got a few holes to go, but he's not actually went overboard with the distance like a lot of designers do on these par threes. Okay, 201. So it's playing around about 199. 183. Do you know what I think? I'll get away with that, you know. And if you look, it's sloping there. So let's try that. Oh, again, push that way over to the left. Hope it makes it. Oh, it did. Nice. Oh, that, <laughs> I was chancing it a bit. And we pick up another birdie. Oh, that pun stroke. Hole 16, 470 yards, par 4, stroke index 5. Okay, the fairway sort of splits in here into two sections as the, the, the creek just sort of... Yeah, it's come around the bend that. Oh, it splits into three sections. Driver, no, we're not going to make it out with driver, so we're going to stick the two wood. Again, pushing all the way over to the left. Or should I say pulling all the way to the left? Don't know why I keep saying pushing. Pushing out to the right, pull to the left. <laughs> okay, 187.41 up. So that is what? 197, run about 200. Yeah, run about that, I think. And 211. Ho oh, ho ho ho, I don't know about that. Oh dear. That might not make it up and with that wind. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's going to fall short, especially with that wind. I'm going to have to go with the 211 here. Yeah. Oh, nasty kick that. That got a quite a big bounce off that little hillside. Is it going to come back though? Is it going to come back? It's going to go down towards the left hand side, but it's going to leave us a flatter putt, which is good. Okay, 18 feet, 2 inches down. <gasps> oh, ho, 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 ho. don't go too far. Oh dear. I thought we might get away with bogey free round, but I don't know about this. 
Yeah, we should get this. I hope we get this. Uh oh. For God's sake. Goodness shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Bloody bogey. Oh, look at the, the brakes are going every direction on this one. I should have took my time on that second part. I should have had that. Didn't want to get a bogey. God damn it. K hole 17, 569 yards. Par 5, stroke index 13. Okay, it looks like it's just dog legging around to the left here, I think. It certainly is. Oh, that green looks pretty well protected. You'd have to get right over on that right hand section. Oh, I think your driver's going to be too much for that. I'm going to go down to the two wood here. Let me have a look. No, them bunkers are placed really well. And you could probably try and bounce off there, but there's no point in that. Let's just go down to the two wood. Oh shit, slow. I think that's my first pretty bad one off the tee, to be honest. Oh, that's going to run out. Shit! Into the thick stuff. I probably could have come down one more club there, to be honest. Right. Five hybrids, 73%. Now, will that make it over that five wood, two wood? Oh, I don't know if that'll make that over there. Ho, 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 ho. I either go there, 65%, try and go over on that section. I think that should make it. Let's try that. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, shit. <laughs> oh, look at that. So close to getting on the bloody fairway. We're going to have to drop it right there. God damn it. Oh, that was so bloody close. I was hoping that would bounce off the bridge, actually. Okay, 129. Oh, we're going to come up for another bloody... Well, mind you, it's par 5. We can get close here. We should be okay. All right. Let's go two clubs up. Oh, God damn it. That's still short. It's actually going to... I think I might actually come back down here. Oh, look at the pot I'm going to have here. That is nasty. So at least we're going to go bogey bogey. Oh, ho, 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 ho. right. 44 feet, two feet up. Wow. Oh, shit, that is pacey. That is hell of a pacey. I might even go off the green here. On the fringe. It did. Oh, shit. <laughs> right. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm actually going to put this. Turn your bugger. Oh, no. Oh, double bogey. Crap. Yeah, I should have just laid up. For that second shot, so I thought two it might have made it over. Look at that bogey, double bogey. Oh, let's see if we can pull off a birdie here on the final hole. Lovely looking 18th hole for Avery Fields Golf Club, 483 yards, par four, stroke index one. Shit. <laughs> and we got a nice drive to that's a nice swing. That's why I should have been swinging all the way. Come on, can we get a birdie? At least a par. Don't go another bogey. <laughs> oh, we're in for quite a good score there as well. Okay, 206, 24 up. So it's playing around about 214, 215. Gonna have to go up with the firewood, and that's gonna be too much. Gonna put some loft on this. Oh, that is going right towards that pin. Depends on distance, though. Yeah, I thought so. Right in between clubs there. So this is a little chip shot. Oh, that is terrible chip. 
Bloody hell. Oh, I thought that was going to miss. I thought I was going to go bogey, double bogey. Bloody hell, that was a part of the end. Minus six, we finished there. Minus two in the back nine. Minus four in the front nine. That was a cracking course, though. That was an absolutely beautiful course. So that's Avery Fields Golf Club. Not to be mixed up with Avery, which was um, Crazy Canucks course, but Avery Fields Golf Club, and that is by RJ Wills 30. That's a stunning course. I love that course. That's one of the best courses I've played in a while. Not just the way it played, but the looks as well. I thought it captured that parkland look to it absolutely fantastically. The colours, the lighting, everything. Beautiful. Don't forget, guys, give this a play. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Also, follow me on Twitter. Every time I post a video, uh, you'll probably notified over on Twitter as well. So again, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you again next time. Give this a play.